Sets up pretty well for Daniel Still with some work to do. Second touch through the legs of Irving, and it's a second for Halifax. It's Aiden Daniels. I think one of the main goals is, is making the grounds a fortress again. Um, and that, that comes with being ruthless in both boxes. Um, keeping the zero as many games as we can uh, is going to be a big key to, to keeping our fans engaged and obviously scoring goals, which we struggled with last year. Um, and I think the, the fan base here is the best in the league. Rain, sunshine, snow, whatever. Um, they're there in numbers and I think that in order for them to, to feel rewarded, we need to win games and, and keep zeros. What has it been like in these first kind of first impressions of working under Patrice? How different is it from last year? Yeah, so I mean, I've known Patrice for almost 10 years now, maybe a bit, a bit longer just playing against them back in Ontario. Um, but yeah, first impressions, I mean, Patrice has always been a good coach. He's always won everywhere he's coached at. Um, and yeah, I just, just think like it's a new, a new face of the club coming in. And I think that um, with Patrice's intensity, passion, and just dedication to, to getting us better every single day is, is gonna propel us to do better. Every action that you make, he's, he's commentating on it. Like if you take a bad touch, it's let's go wait in, it needs to be better. A five yard pass that isn't firm enough, let's go wait in, it needs to be stronger. Like just stuff like that. I think he's very engaged and on top of everyone. Right to the top of the box, Daniels! What a strike from Aiden Daniels! All in all, it's just, it just comes down to work rate and, and getting in positions and being clinical, you know, like uh, you see it at the top levels, guys get two chances, they score both or one and they win the game one nothing. you know what I mean? And it took us a lot of chances just to get one goal. But I think this year, uh, me playing more of a, a number 10 role and, and just being that attacking mid player that I am, um, Patrice has given me the, the license and, and not freedom, but more of a role to, to impact the game in the final third rather than dropping deeper and, and trying to get out of pressure when we were getting pressed. I can play anywhere in the midfield or even left wing um, as we saw some games last year but yeah number 10 just because I'm, I feel like my best quality is, is turning and driving at the defenders finding final passes. What kind of sense do you have of, of how this sort of this sort of attacking system might come together? What kind of relationship are you building with some of these guys? Yeah I mean uh, just, just from day one, it's been about playing football. Um, I can count on my on one hand how many long balls we've hit so far in, tra in training. What did you kind of take away from that campaign? Now that we're a, a few months after that season, what do you kind of look back at it? With? Yeah, so definitely was a frustrating year as you as you touched on. But um, you know, after an off season of reflection, uh, you know, you just you gotta put it behind you because pa the past is the past and you can only impact your future. Do you feel you know, a bit of a, a responsibility to be maybe a, a bit of a, a leader in that group and, and make sure that guys are, are able to settle in when they're, they're coming to a new team? Yeah, I think that I think I'd put um, that on my shoulders a bit just to, to be a leader and I'm, I'm not the vocal kind that's gonna you know, uh, scream and shout and you know, get the guys hoorah, but you know, I, I try to lead by example um, with my performances and, and just my work rate.